Militancy and insecurity in Afghanistan are still very tough issues. The Taliban militant group has proved resilient and is threatening to make a comeback. The Daesh terrorist group is also trying to establish a foothold there. U.S. troops in Afghanistan have been reinforced under President Donald Trump to help contain the militancy problem. Whether Trump's strategy has been effective is open to debate. Afghanistan usually blames neighboring Pakistan for many of its problems. Kabul says Islamabad has failed to secure border areas and this has allegedly led to more insecurity in Afghanistan. Islamabad and Kabul have long traded barbs over the matter. Relations between the two neighbors have been difficult, but they are now finding reason to mend ties. Economic and trade opportunities have apparently given both countries motivation for closer cooperation. Top diplomats from Afghanistan and Pakistan sat down for talks in China on Tuesday. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi hosted his Afghan counterpart Salahuddin Rabbani and Pakistan's Khawaja Asif. Possible trade and security cooperation was on the agenda of the talks. China believes stronger links among the three neighbors are essential. Within the framework of the Belt and Road Initiative, the three countries will work together to promote connectivity, shared prosperity and common development. China and Pakistan have a $57 billion economic corridor. They say they want to expand that corridor to Afghanistan. Observers believe China is emerging as a peace broker between Afghanistan and Pakistan as it seeks to remove obstacles in the way of regional trade and business. They're trying to spread their influence, their economic interests around Asia. And in that picture, Afghanistan is, of course, a very important region for, for all the countries, for China, for U.S., for Russia and for India. The Chinese interests are very clear. They, they, they see Afghanistan as a major source made of natural resources, uh, especially minerals. At the same time, I think China will try to curtail the influence of the United States. The three neighbors also pledged to work to tackle the threat of terrorism. Experts believe China's growing influence in Afghanistan has alarmed Washington. That's because the United States spent well over a decade fighting a costly war there, and now its global rival China is emerging as Afghanistan's major trade partner. Meanwhile, the United States' problems in Afghanistan seem far from over. America is still grappling with militancy there and has deployed several thousand more forces as part of Washington's new strategy. Some, like Russian President Vladimir Putin, believe the security situation in Afghanistan could have been even worse had it not been for U.S. troops. I think the Russians want to have peace in Afghanistan, and at the same time, they don't want to get involved militarily in Afghanistan. Uh, you know, Russia has just started withdrawing from Syria, uh, and uh, a couple of days ago, uh, there was a story that Russia is going to cut down its defense spending. So I think Russia wants to resolve uh, Afghanistan problem diplomatically. But many critics insist U.S. militarism causes endless cycles of violence and must be replaced with political solutions. <laughs>